In today's video, we are going to learn how rainbows are formed. Rainbows are a natural phenomenon and are caused by water droplets and white light. Before going deep into the topic, let us learn who discovered the workings of this natural phenomenon. In the year 1666, Isaac Newton, who was an English mathematician and a physicist, did an experiment where he used a prism and allowed white light to pass through it. Surprisingly, he discovered that the white light split into seven different colors. When he did the experiment, many people thought that the prism had seven colors and not the white light. Later, he did another experiment where he inverted another prism and this time he saw the seven colors merge into one color which was white. This experiment made people believe that white light consisted of seven different colors. But another question popped up that why we are able to see only white light instead of the seven colors. The answer to that can be explained pretty easily. Imagine if someone was playing seven different musical beats all at the same time, your brain would think of them as one beat. It is not possible for the human brain to identify all the seven beats played at once. Now let's understand how rainbows are formed. For rainbows to form, we must first have the sun behind us which can emit white light and we also need water droplets. These water droplets can be in the form of raindrops or water droplets in fountains or any other water body. You might ask another question that why do we need raindrops in order to form rainbows? The work that the water droplet does is the same as the prism. In simpler words, the water droplets act as small prisms. The process starts when the white light enters the water droplet. As soon as the white light enters the water droplet, it gets refracted and splits into seven colors. These seven colors further get refracted in the same medium. You might be wondering that why does the white light get refracted in the same medium? Because I told you previously that the water droplets act as small prisms and prisms do not further refract light. The white light passes through the prism. So you might be wondering that the white light must also pass through the water droplet, right? But this is not the case in the formation of rainbows. This happens because of a phenomenon called total internal reflection. Total internal reflection is the phenomenon where the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle. In order to learn more about total internal reflection, we must first know the meaning of terms like the incident ray, reflected ray and the basic laws of refraction. Incident ray is the ray of light which enters the medium or the one which is going to get reflected. As you can see in this picture, this is the incident ray as it is the one which is going to enter the medium and is going to get further reflected. Reflected ray is the ray of light which gets reflected off the same surface. As you can see in this picture, glass is the surface and the reflected ray gets reflected off the same surface which is glass. The normal line is a line which is perpendicular to the surface of the object and the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection is the angles it forms with the normal line. So now that we know what these terms are, let us know more about total internal reflection. Total internal reflection occurs only when the light is moving from a rarer medium to a denser medium. In this case, water is a much denser medium than air. Hence the first criteria for total internal reflection is satisfied. So what is this critical angle? We know that when light moves from an optically rarer medium to an optically denser medium, it bends away from the normal line. Critical angle is the angle of incidence which is big enough so that the reflected ray becomes perpendicular to the normal line. And when the incident ray is greater than the critical angle, light gets reflected in the same medium. As you can see in this picture, the light doesn't go outside the medium but gets reflected back in the same surface. The same way in a raindrop, the light doesn't pass through it but gets internally reflected. This time it bends in air, that is, it passes through the raindrop. When they pass through, each color gets reflected at a different angle. Since violet has the shortest wavelength, it bends the most and red bends the least as it has the maximum wavelength. As you can see here, violet comes first and red comes last. But if you see in a rainbow, the order is reversed. But then why is that we see red first? This is because all the other colors apart from red are above our line of sight. And the same way, we see violet in the bottom and not the rest 
as all the other colors are not visible to us and we see the rest of the colors the same way we see red and violet rainbows are not arcs but they are full circles as you can see in this video the rainbow is not an arc but a perfect circle we don't see the full circle because the rest of it gets covered by land thanks for watching this video if you feel you have learned something new via my video about rainbows please consider subscribing to my channel and also like the video lastly don't forget to comment your thoughts suggestions and your doubt in the comment section i'll see you in the next video